This video is going to be about multiplying and dividing with scientific notation. So, go ahead and make a heading on your paper. And we will start out with multiplying. Here's an example. Let's say we have 2.5 times 10 to the third. And we have a number in scientific notation. And we're multiplying it by another number in scientific notation. 3.1 times 10 to the fourth. Now there's a kind of pattern that you want to follow when you multiply like this. Remember that the number that comes in front of the times 10, it has to be 1 or higher all the way up to 10, but it cannot be 10. Um, sometimes it's written like this. This number could be called a times 10 to the n power. And that's the pattern. And the a can be 1 or more than 1 but it must be less than 10. So, looking at this pattern, this a, this number that comes before the times 10, if you're multiplying two numbers in scientific notation, the first thing you want to do is look at the two a values, so to speak. Here we have the 2.5, and here we have the 3.1, and you want to multiply those together. So when you multiply together 2.5 and 3.1, you get 7.75. And now you write times 10. And we're almost done because we're multiplying two numbers in scientific notation. You need to add the exponents. So add 3 plus 4, that gives you 7. And so you have your answer right here. When you multiply 2.5 times 10 to the third by 3.1 times 10 to the fourth, your answer is 7.75 times 10 to the seventh. Now, I'd like you to try one. Please multiply 1.3 times 10 to the fourth by 2.2 times 10 to the fifth. So press pause and try this and once you have an answer start press play again. Hopefully you got for an answer 2.86 times 10 to the ninth. The way you did that take 1.3 and 2.2 and multiply them together to get 2.86 and take 4 and 5 and add those exponents to get 9. Let's try another one. That's 1.8 times 10 to the 13th times 3 times 10 to the negative 4th. So, please press pause and try that one. And you should have 5.4 times 10 to the ninth. Notice you have to be careful with your negative here. This is 13 plus a negative 4, giving you positive 9. Now, the next one I want to show you contains a little bit of a trick to it. 7.2 times 10 to the second times 5.1 times 10 to the third. So you multiply the 7.2 times the 5.1. And when you do that, 
you get 36.72. So you write down 36.72. And then you add exponents. 2 plus 3 gives you 5. And at first you might think, oh, I'm done. It's 36.72 times 10 to the fifth. But you're not, because remember I said that this number that comes in front of the times 10 has to be between 1 and 10. And it can be exactly 1, but it has to be less than 10. And <clears throat> right now we have this number 36.72. It's obviously larger than 10. That's a problem. This is not proper scientific notation. So you need to adjust it. You need to fix it. And I'm going to have to fix it by taking this decimal and moving it over once. So this becomes 3.672 times 10. But now that I've fixed this by moving it once, I need to adjust my exponent. It can't be 5 anymore. What you need to do is if you have to move it once to adjust it, you need to add 1 to the exponent. So instead of 5, this is now 6. 3.672 times 10 to the 6th, which is correct scientific notation, and that is your answer. So let me give you one for you to try. Here is 6.2 times 10 to the negative 2 times 7.8 times 10 to the negative 3. Please press pause and solve that one and make sure it's in correct scientific notation. So your answer should be 4.836 times 10 to the negative fourth. Here's how I got that answer. You take 6.2 times 7.8 and you get 48.36 times 10 to the negative fifth. You get negative 5 by adding negative 2 plus negative 3. But because 48 is larger than 10, it's a not proper scientific notation, you need to do a little correction. You need to move this decimal over once here. And when you do that, you have to add 1 to the exponent. And remember, when you add 1 to negative 5, it becomes negative 4. Now, if you were ever in a situation where in order to correct the improper scientific notation, you had to move your decimal more than one place, then you just count the number of places you needed to move it and add that number to your exponent. So in this case, I only had to move the decimal once. But if you ever had a situation where you had to move it twice, then you would just add two. And that concludes the part of the lesson on multiplying using scientific notation. The next step is to divide. So let's do an example. And I'll make a little line here to show that it's a little squiggle to show that we are changing now to dividing. Let's do 8 times 10 to the 7th divided by 2 times 10 to the 4th. Now when we multiplied, we used to take these numbers here and here and multiply them together. But we're dividing now. So now we need to divide. 8 divided by 2 gives you 4. And before we used to add exponents. But now, because we're dividing, we're going to subtract exponents. So it's times 10 and 7 minus 4 gives you 3. So 4 times 10 to the third. Let's try another one. I'd like you, you guys to give this one a try. Please try 4.2 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 3.0 times 10 to the fourth. Press pause and give it a try. And your answer should be 1.4 times 10 to the negative tenth. The way you get 1.4 is you divide 4.2 divided by 3 
that gives you 1.4. And then negative 6 minus positive 4 gives you negative 10. Now I'd like to work out another example with you. In this one, we're going to have 1.2 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 3.0 times 10 to the 4th. So when you divide 1.2 divided by 3, you get 0 0.4 times 10. And then negative 6 minus 4 gives you negative 10. So it's 0.4 times 10 to the negative 10th. Well, this is a problem because if you remem remember, this number here is supposed to fall between 1 and 10. And it can be 1, but it can't be as high as 10. And now it's too low. And this is a little bit different because before, when we ran into this problem, we had a number that was too large. Now we have a number that's too small. Well, we need to do a correction again. We need to move this over, this decimal place over once to make this 4 times 10. Now we have to fix our exponent. Now before, when we were dealing with a number here that was too large, we used to add one to our exponent. Now that we're dealing with a number that starts out too small, we have to subtract one from our exponent. So the answer is 4 times 10 to the negative 11th power. Now, you might be feeling confident about most of this, but maybe a little bit shaky about fixing improper scientific notation. And I, I want to point out another way to figure out how to fix the improper scientific notation if you're not comfortable with the adding some, one to the exponent or subtracting one from the exponent. So to help you with that, I've highlighted one of the problems we just did a few minutes ago, the one that was 36.72 times 10 to the fifth. And if you correct it correctly, it should turn into 3.672 times 10 to the sixth. Now I'm going to show you the alternative way to fix this if you're not comfortable with the idea of adding or subtracting because you might forget what to do. The secret is just take the improper scientific notation and turn it into standard notation. So 3, 6, 7, 2. Start with your decimal right here after 36 and go over 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I need to add three zeros. And then, now that it's in standard notation, turn it into your final answer. Turn it back into scientific notation. And when you turn it back into scientific notation using the procedure I taught you before, you'll be sure to get the right answer. So start at the left and scan across till you pass only one digit that's not zero. Okay, stop right there, 3.672. Write that down. And now that you're starting right here between the three and the six, count how many places you have to go over. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so your answer is confirmed. It should be 3.672 times 10 to the sixth. Let's do the same kind of confirmation with this problem where we were dividing. The improper scientific notation was 0.4 times 10 to the negative tenth. So let's write that down. That would be starting here, go over 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So write this down. Write in my zeros. Notice I began with my decimal right here because that's what my improper scientific notation told me to do. And then I moved over this way 10. And this is now standard notation. All I have to do now is convert this back into scientific notation using the proper procedure and I'll be all set. So I follow the procedure of starting over here on the left, scan across until I pass a digit that's not zero. There we are. Right there I stop. I write down four. And now from this location after the four I count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 